Hello everyone and welcome back to Canarium for part 5. Now, it seems we have more ruins ahead of us after our short and sweet submarine journey and exploring the void. That was very strange, so uh, yeah, I've got my axe. I think I'm ready for anything, or at least I hope I am. Here we go. <laughs> Still not very comfortable about the noises I hear. I think I'm creating them though. Wow. <laughs> Giant's Causeway, anyone? Alright. Dr. Faust? <laughs> I don't want to have to use this, but I might. Okay. Are we alright? I think we might be- oh, hang on! Oh, I guess I managed to pull this out of the submarine. Two other expedition parties. Is there anyone who can read me? One person is dead, and two others have been injured by the partial ice cave collapse. There is something here with us. Do not come through our expedition route. I repeat, do not come through our expedition route. Yes, I read you. This is Frank. For God's sake, what happened? And please, tell me where I can find you. Frank, do not stray from your path. We have come across something... terrible. Do not come here through our expedition route, no matter what happens. It looks like this fiendish netherworld depends on some kind of energy. An energy that is stored in curious stoneworks similar to an obelisk with crystals on top. Right. And they are able to clear away some of the strange plants. So it, it is the crystals that I've been seeing? Are they made out of that material there? Dr. Faust? I Dr. Faust? Oh, come on, not again! <laughs> I'm getting this sick of this shit! <laughs> I cannot understand what is going on! Well, there's only one thing for it. We have to explore. And right, okay, finally, I can move again. Okay, uh, yes, yes. Uh, is that a fire back there? Hang on, right, okay, so what are we doing? Where are we going? What is this? <laughs> Where should I start? Look at that guy. Right, over here, I think. Oh, hang on, is this uh, another use for the axe, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I guess I need to re-equip it and everything. There you go. Alright. Is this going to be another hidden area? <laughs> I think it's kind of losing its meaning if it is a hidden area. I mean, how is anyone going to miss this? Do you want... Can I get through? Yes, I can. Yep, yeah, it's a hidden area. It's a secret. <laughs> Alright. Am I going to find some sort of secret item as well? I don't know. I don't know. Another starfish symbol. Is that another rock I can break? Well, I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, apparently so. Oh my. Candles and everything. How long have they been burning? I don't know, maybe this was, uh, this was all sort of blocked up recently. Alright, we're in. What is this? Oh, okay. We're not actually going to take this. We're not going to get a description for it. Okay. Another one. Kind of similar looking. That's uh, that's pretty cool. That's very cool indeed, actually. Oh, hang on. Oh, I thought this was a base for something. Not, you know, actual thing. It's another disc. And here we are. This. This is the item. Complete with the Elder Sign. An ornamental object with a metallic part engraved within a sandstone rock. Depicting an Elder Thing figure in the center. And I, of course, I'm going to take it and add it to my collection. Yep, that's another trophy item. Great stuff. So, let's just have a look. Is there something there? Oh, it's the cylinder, of course. Yeah, it's, it's so dark I can barely see it. But yeah, looks like we've collected about half of them. Eleven to go. Let's hope I haven't missed any. I probably have. And we have another little statuette here. Yeah. Cool stuff. I like these little hidden areas, even though they're not well hidden. It's probably for the best, actually. I think, uh, you know, the more people that find this, the better, really. 
Anyway, yes, uh, let's let's continue moving on. I think I saw, well, I saw many more statues up here, some more fire. Ah, okay. I thought this might be another coffin, but it's not. It's an actual table this time. For offerings to you, maybe? With your big bulbous head? Nothing down there. Something on the shelves? This would be a pretty good unit for a, a CD collection. <laughs> Probably not the uh, the intention, but there you go. Wow, this place looks big. Very big. Right. Oh, hold on. Is this another... What, what was it? An, an obsidian... Yeah, it's like an obsidian mirror, I think. Or something like that. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a third eye winking at me this time. That's probably for the best, I think. I don't know. But isn't that the goal? To receive the third eye? To see beyond? Maybe it is. What's up next? Left? Right? Left, I want to say. Oh, hang on. Yeah, these things. So, what's happened to this? Can we turn... Oh, hang on. This obelisk is dead. Right, is there any way to revive it? Because, you know, if it was revived, let's say, and it was glowing blue, I think those plants would recede and we can go through. I don't really want to chop them because I don't really want to get poisoned. What's this thing here? Oh, hang on. Oh, I thought I might need to uh, put something in it or on it, but apparently not. Okay, there's another one here. Hmm. Looks like there are markings of, I don't know, like a vase being on top of it? Something like that? Right, so... It is glowing the same sort of blue as these. I, I'm thinking they're probably made from the same material. Can we, can we break this away? No. Apparently not. Maybe we need to replace the top, I'm not entirely sure. Need to power it up somehow, though. This way? Yeah. Oh my. Oh my. Right. Not Elder Things this time, but... The things we've seen on the, the Bass Reliefs. These, um... Well, reptilians of some sort, I guess. Again, it seems we have a problem with the plants. Oh, stuff. Looks like something's missing here. Ah, right. Okay. I need something that can fit. I do indeed. Uh, I guess I don't have that something quite yet. Ah, all right. I, maybe it's the same sort of material as the uh, the lamp thing back there. I don't know. Is that one of the towers? Maybe. Looks like it's sort of crumbled in within itself. But yeah. Huh. This is great stuff. Um, okay, let's see. I, I guess we need to head back because I'm not going, not going in there quite yet. Through there. Well, let's let's go around. Does this lead back to where I was before? I think so. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. Um, I might go down there in a moment. Right. Yeah. Back here again. That's all right. Let's uh, let's head down that tunnel and see what we can find. Nah, put it away, put it away. <laughs> it ruins everything. I'm not coming in as a hostile, I, I just want to observe, I just want to learn. What is that? It seems familiar, actually. Maybe I've seen that before. Maybe in another game. Maybe. Wow, alright, let's see. Um, is, is this gonna... oh, hang on. That up there. That looks like the, the top of the staff that I saw. Maybe something goes up there? Whoa. <laughs> Still not too comfortable with all this. Oh, blimey. Oh, that's not an elder thing. That's actually a human. But I can't inspect it. No, I, I don't want to unwrap the bandages. Yeah, why ruin something that's millennia old, I suppose. Nothing in that one. No, okay. Are we going to find any more bodies? Maybe a coin. Maybe another sort of hidden item. Right. Well, let's go up to this. Can we move this? Tilt it? It's on some sort of stand. It looks like it might be a, you know, like a bull socket or something. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, I think we're at the base of one of the towers. But this is a dead end? Right. Hang on. What's this? I not seen one of these. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Oh, right. What's happening? Something happening? Yes. Ah, there you go. Right, it spins around. Ah, hang on. Now we can have a look at this. Looks like something's missing here. Ah, right. I'm still missing that that special something, unfortunately. Hmm. Uh. Right. Is are there any other levers around here? I wonder. I didn't really check the walls. Look at that. <laughs> so cool. No, I don't think so. I think that one's actually quite unique over there. Just to control that. That's alright. Um, I don't think I could do anything with the other side, could I? Let's, let's put it back down, just in case. Just so I can look at it from all angles. No. Is that actually meant to be the globe? I'm not entirely sure, but no, I, I can't interact with it. That's alright, that's alright. Let's, let's put it back. Um... I guess I'll come back later when i found something that can fit in that slot. There's certainly nothing here right now. Didn't see anything in the coffins. And I think this time, yes, they are in fact coffins. Um, I don't know then, actually. It can't be anything from the secret area because, you know, something you need to progress in the game wouldn't be in a secret area. Uh, let's have a look at this again. Ah, oh, is that a rock I can break or something, maybe? No? I can go around, but that's it. Uh, can I work my way around this? I guess not. No, the uh, the plants are actually getting all over the place. Yeah, I can't go any further. I don't want to risk death, really, so... <laughs> we've got to head back to well, those two fires over there, I suppose. Maybe there was something I missed right at the beginning. It's possible. Or it is. It's just a case of maybe chipping away at these crystals and, and making my own? I don't know. Hmm. So, came out of there. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, this is where I came from, I think. I didn't even see this. Yeah, I guess I did miss something right at the beginning then. All right. What have we got up here? All right. Oh. Ah, yeah, just just like the tower. Uh, oh wow! <laughs> As I predicted, a race, reptilian in physiology, lived inside these ruins after the original builders, the elder things, left the area after some unknown cataclysmic event. Now lost in an archaic and lost chapter of Earth's history. This relief depicts some reptilian creatures. Treating an elder thing with reverence. Where is he exactly? <laughs> and the other relief with four tall figures, I believe symbolizes empty vessels. Huh. Oh. Golems. We've seen the same vessel figures, depicted as assuming different roles several times in most of the murals or reliefs we've come across so far. Well, thanks for that, Dr. Faust. I don't know where you were this time. Maybe I'm listening to an audiobook or something, but yeah, that was that was pretty cool. So here we are, the golems. And yes, I think back in part three I did actually see their seats. I might be wrong though. But yes, reptilians. And an elder thing. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder where they got their robes from. Actually, with tails like that, wouldn't wearing robes be kind of annoying? <laughs> I don't know. Right. Okay, well, I see the problem here. Where's that big old... Ah, hang on. Here we are. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the problem. I can't move it. The ice on the track is... Ah, hang on. Movement. Not for long. Let's get that out of the way. Yep. Okay, that's all broke. Hang on. Nope. A little bit there. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a bit round the back as well. Okay, is that it? Looks pretty clear. Apart from this <laughs> floating bit of ice. Okay. Alright, so the beam goes into it. 
And it's pointing that way. Is that good? Oh, there you go. It's, a, it's another dead one, isn't it? Can we move it this time? Oh, hang on. Yes, we can. Oh. <laughs> is it facing the right way? No, I don't think so. What, what was the last one doing? I think it was actually pointing out, wasn't it? So twist it around again. No, and one more time. Oh, I think it... Right, okay. Are there, there are two directions you can swivel it? Yeah, okay. I didn't realise. That should be it, shouldn't it? Right. Yep, yep. Okay. So it's... Yes! Now... Is it just for these ones? Or is it for all of them? Hmm. Well, let's find out, I suppose. Looks like I can't swivel it around again, so I think the job is done, pretty much. Yeah. Let's see. This is cool. This is very, very cool. Okay, so I suppose I could just have a look at the one by the, uh, the plant, couldn't I? Yes, it's glowing! Great! So the plants should have receded. I should be able to go through there now. And maybe that's where I need to find the thing that goes on top of the staff and on top of that strange... whatever you might call it. I don't know. Looks like the beginning of a gyroscope. An elder thing symbol. What is this? Oh, hey. This looks important. Right. Well, what is this exactly? An ornamental object. Okay. Okay, well, I, uh, I guess I've got two places to try it on. Is it going to be in front of the reptilian statues, or... I'm wondering if it's going to be around here. Let's try this one first. Uh, did I walk past? I think I actually went past the past the doorway. Yes, I did. There you go. Alright, it's already pointed down, so... Shouldn't have any problems slipping it in. The crystal I have doesn't ah. fit here. Ah, okay. So does that mean it is a crystal we're looking for? Just not the one I've got. Alright, okay. Well, it, it's got to be in front of the reptilian statues then, hasn't it? In front of... I don't know. What is it meant to be, a temple? It certainly looks that way. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Yeah, it's slightly slimmer. Thinner. Yes! There you go. Right, do we take it? Or... Oh, it's glowing. Ah! Yes! Brilliant! Just brilliant, right, okay. Can we take this with us? Oh, hang on! Oh, oh, oh! Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, if I go a little bit closer to these things... Oh, that's pretty good. I think I'll have to wait for a little bit, but yeah, they do actually go away. Don't they? No? Maybe if I go down... No, I have to... Oh. Hmm. Right. So I can carry it around with me, but in this case, I think leaving it on the staff is probably for the best. What about these? Can I grab one of these? I don't think they're the same thing, really, but... Let's go inside. Right. Snakes. Coiled snakes. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Wow. Whoa! Oh, you're big, aren't you? Where are you off to? Okay, that's uh, that's almost life-size. From, uh, from the memory I just received. I guess we should probably go that way. Oh, oh. I thought the entrance was going to collapse or something. I mean, I don't know if I'm ever going to get out of here because I don't really know where the submarine is. I think I'm going to have to find Dr. Faust, really, aren't I? I guess I can't smash through this wall like I can with the others. That's alright, that's alright. Um, let's go this way. I'm just kind of curious. Where does this go? Ah. This stonework seems weak. Alright, well... We know what we're using now. I guess it's going to be another hidden area, another secret. 
<laughs> I like that it's not one hit and done. You actually have to work for it. You really have to want to go through. Come on. There you go. Yep, uh, just about. Oh, really? This time it's not a secret. I guess we have to go through here. Well, if that's the case, let's not go through here. Let's save this for later. Let's see what happens if I follow the reptilians. Okay. Do I need to light the fires or something, possibly? Oh my. The same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. I see. So these are these are crystals in little holes. Right. Can we manipulate them or Right. I can I can do something with them. I can Am I seeing inside them when I shine the light on them? I don't know. Oh, I see the symbols down here. So what do we want here? I don't remember this symbol. What about this one? Do we have to back away and look at them individually? Or what what about this one here? That glyph doesn't ring any bells. Hmm. Are there any glyphs that do ring any bells? I don't remember this symbol. There might be. There actually might be. I don't know. Ah. This one's actually glowing. That glyph doesn't ring oh, any Oh, really? Bells. Oh, was it, just, was it just the angle I was seeing it at? Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay, I thought that was a special one. Never mind. Alright. And we can't manipulate the mushrooms, no. But now I know where all those samples in the base came from. Um, <clears throat> okay. I will definitely come back to this, but yeah. I did just smash down a wall. I should probably see where that leads. Wonder what I'm gonna do with those. I mean, if I do find a glyph, or several glyphs that do ring some bells. Through here? Oh, wow. Hey there. Oh. Uh, right. It's like a... Yeah, a feathered mask I took from the head of one of the skeletons sitting silently in their eternal resting places. Signs of colour that can be seen on the now solidified feathers made me think how flamboyant it might once have been. And I'm taking it with me. That's... That's the trophy item. Alright. Okay. Oh, so maybe this was like a secret area. Maybe not, though. <laughs> Just odd noises now and then. Oh, another one. No headdress for you, but... No, oh, I guess uh, <laughs> you don't have one, so I'm not interested. Alright. And we can keep going. It seems that way. Where does this lead? Maybe this is going to lead to some sort of lexicon of glyphs, so I can understand what I'm seeing in that other room. Wow. Oh boy. They are... They're rather large, aren't they? Wonder if they're for humans or not. Maybe not, actually. Maybe they just sort of tuck the tail in. What are we looking at here? What is that? Go on. From some of the bas reliefs explored in the seemingly oldest structure, which had been weathered into shapeless ruins ages ago, we learned that these reptilian creatures were the inhabitants of this eon dead city. But while some of them were enshrouded in special coffins, these are standing still, glued to their vertical rock coffins with an awful looking ooze. Curiously, they were firmly placed in the niches on some of the walls. Right. Looks like at one point maybe he was holding something, but I, I, hmm, I don't know. Right. So this is what they did with their dead. Some got coffins, some were made to stand up on the walls. There you go. Right. These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. They are, aren't they? 
I'm wondering if I do have to bring that crystal through with me to get through here. That's probably what I do have to do, actually. Or maybe I need to find another one in here somewhere. Oh. Oh, is that a- oh no, that's just another sort of standing coffin area. There seems to be quite a few of them in this room. Right. Okay, well, if there's nothing to do here... I think I might be returning back to those glyphs. Yes, possibly. Cool. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Nothing in that one? No, okay. Just confirming. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. Oh, hang on, right. Oh, there's nothing here? No, what about on the other side? Is there another side I could do this to? Uh, mm. No, nothing around there, okay. Strange, strange architecture. It kind of looks like I'm walking on the ceiling when I go through this. Right, I'm going to head back to the other room to see if I can do something with the glyphs. Maybe some of them will ring a bell, maybe just one of them will ring a bell, but I think it bears a little bit more scrutiny, to be honest. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you back next time in part six of Canarium. See you then. Oh, come on, not again! <laughs> I'm getting this sick of this shit. This would be a pretty good unit for a CD collection. <laughs> Probably not the, uh, the intention, but there you go. Oh my. Yep, yep. Okay. So it's... Yes! Brilliant. Just brilliant. I like that it's not one hit and done. You actually have to work for it. You really have to want to go through.